Welcome to Learning in Language Arts with Mrs. Jones. Today's lesson will be on parentheses and dashes. We'll focus on the rules and the usage. Um, our purpose for this lesson is to meet the goal in GVC3, students will use proper conventions and grammar. Um, after this lesson, I hope that we will be able to identify rules of parentheses and dashes, edit sentences for errors in parentheses and dashage, dash usage, and use parentheses and dashes correctly in a written sentence. So let's begin with parentheses. Just a reminder that um, the slide number is at the bottom, so you can correlate that to your notes. The purpose of parentheses is to provide extra non-essential information. You might remember that word non-essential from when we did our lesson on commas. Uh, also to separate material, a word, phrase, or sentence from the main part of the sentence and also to de-emphasize the importance of the material in the parentheses. Here's an example. Tragically, Clay Aiken, a talented singer, did not win American Idol. You can see that uh, the words a talented singer is, are in parentheses. This is giving us extra information that is non-essential. It is also de-emphasizing um, the information it's not that important so clay aiken and uh is an important part of the sentence but a talented singer is non-essential so when we use uh parentheses we have punctuation in the sentence and sometimes there's a lot of questions about where the punctuation goes so here's some rules with punctuation when parenthetic information is part of the main sentence, the sentence punctuation goes outside um, the parentheses. So parenthetic information is the information that is inside the parentheses. So here's an example. Many viewers complain about the excessive praise of a particular American Idol judge, Paula Abdul. So the information, Paula Abdul is part of the main sentence. And so it's just put in there um, and the period comes after the parentheses. If you have a question about this, pause the video now and go and talk to your teacher. Um, another rule with punctuation is that when the punctuation belongs to the parenthetical information itself, then the punctuation goes inside the parentheses. Here's an example. Singers are often criticized for being pitchy. A pitchy singer typically gives a poor vocal performance. So you can see that uh, a pitchy singer typically gives a poor vocal performance is in parentheses. It is a sentence all of its own. So it needs to have the proper punctuation. So look at the two different examples. If you have a question about the punctuation or using punctuation with parentheses stop right now and go talk to Mrs. Jones. Okay, so it's time for you to pause and practice. You'll see on your notes that there is our 10 practice problems. You're going to put the parentheses where they're needed. So look for information that is non-essential. Um, look for information that can be de-emphasized that doesn't need a special attention to it. I will uh, give you an example um, for number one. Number one says, I'll get back to you tomorrow, Friday. So the information in parentheses should be Friday. So you need to put a parentheses before and after Friday, but leave the punctuation outside um, of the parentheses because the punctuation goes um, belongs to the sentence and not the information in the parentheses. All right, your turn. All right, let's move on to dashes. Uh, just a reminder, the slide number's at the bottom so you can correlate with your notes. So dashes are similar in function to parentheses, except dashes add emphasis to the information. Remember that parentheses de-emphasize information. So you'll see how that, it actually even sounds different as we go through this. 
Dashes join a phrase to the end of a sentence to add an example, illustration, or contradiction. So here's an example. American Idol is hosted by the most humorous man on earth, Ryan Seacrest. So you have your dash before Ryan Seacrest. And we, are, we have to tell who the most humorous man on earth is. Therefore, we are adding emphasis to the sentence. Dashes can be used in the middle of the sentence to add an example, illustration, or contradiction. The item must be enclosed with dashes and could be lifted out of the sentence without affecting its overall meaning. Enclosed with dashes means that there's a dash before the phrase or word and after the phrase or word. And um, being lifted out of the sentence means that it's non-essential. It's not going to affect the meaning of the sentence. Here is an example. Channel 19, considered by many as a family channel, airs American Idol on Tuesday nights. So you can see that there is a dash before and a dash after the information considered by many as the family channel. Okay, so if we take that out and we read the sentence, Channel 19 airs American Idol on Tuesday nights, the sentence meaning has not been affected by taking out this information. But we're giving extra information to the audience or to the reader, and we're adding emphasis by putting it in dashes. So dashes can also be used to indicate an explanation is coming. So here's an example. The teacher has a strategy, a strategy which pr will provide results. So the dash comes and it is letting us know in our minds that they're going to explain what the strategy is. It can also be used to create dramatic effect. Here's an example. They've made it, finally. So we've added that extra information at the end for dramatic effect. Also. Dashes can be used to indicate an unfinished or interrupted comment. This is generally used when um, writing dialogue. So here's an example. I have to say that I, and then we have the dash there, and the reader knows that the dash indicates the sentence was in interrupted. Finally, um, a, sent a dash can be used to indicate a group of words that provide an explanation or comment. And here is an example for that. The entire school, students, staff, and parents were present at action review day. So we are explaining who, the, who was involved or who was part of um, the definition of the entire school. So not just students and teachers, but students, staff, and parents. So we're giving an explanation for that. If you have any questions at this point about any of these um, rules, please stop and see Mrs. Jones. It is time now to pause and practice. You will copy the following sentences, there's five of them, and you will put the missing dashes in place. Go back to your notes. Your notes tell you what the rules are. And you can also go back and look at uh, the slides in this video to see what the examples are. I'm gonna help you with number one. Number one says, I'm going to buy sweets, lots of them. This is giving extra information and it's adding a dramatic effect. So the, the dash would be, I'm going to buy sweets, dash, lots of them. All right, go ahead and pause and practice. Finally, boys and girls, just checking in with you. Today's lesson, we identified the rules of parentheses and dashes. Um, we also practiced editing sentences for errors in parentheses and dashes use. And uh, use parentheses and dashes correctly in a written sentence, which is what you just practiced. So you're going to evaluate your learning. If you understand this concept and can teach it to others, um, that means that you have a very good understanding. You would not have to look at your notes to remind you of these rules. It makes, it makes complete sense to you. Um, then give yourself a four at the top of your paper. 
if you understand and you can do all the practice by yourself and you got got them all correct then you're a number three and that's okay that's a great place to be number two is a place of learning it's starting to make those connections and but you still need some help you need to visit with the teacher talk to a friend ask questions um, and number one is that this concept is not making sense to you at all so go ahead and evaluate yourself now if you feel like you are not understanding this if you're a one or a two here are some things you can do if you're a one review the lesson by watching this video again going over your notes and visiting with mrs jones if you're a two you can go to ixl.com this is found um, in our choice board and practice um, this strategy, these strategies and, and be able to review this with assistance. And I can help you find that if you are unaware. Finally, if you're a three or a four, I want you to rewrite the sentences on your practice page. And I want you to put commas in place of the dashes. And I want you to think and ask yourself, how does the change of punctuation affect the way the sentences are read? You can even change those commas and dashes to parentheses. Okay, each of these types of, of, of um, rules and punctuation are used to add or distract or take away from. And so we use them in different ways. So see how things change as you add that, add those or change those up. Thank you, boys and girls. This is Learning with Language Arts. Until next time.